In this video, I'm going to talk about the finite element method, or FEM for short, and how to perform FEM calculations in the Cable HV software using the FEM module. For this video, I'll go over what the FEM module is, the capabilities of the FEM module in brief, the advantages of using FEM-based calculations, the features of the FEM module, and I will then perform an example calculation. The FEM calculation module in the Cable HV software performs 2D finite element analysis on buried cable systems to obtain current ratings. The FEM module is very accurate and extends the capabilities of the software beyond the limitations of the IEC standard calculations. The FEM module is capable of modeling the following multiple cable circuits of any cable types, multiple backfills or zones of different thermal resistivity, cables and ducts and filled troughs, and non-isothermal ground surface with custom air velocity. There are several advantages to FEM-based cable rating calculations. Firstly, any high voltage cable installation and configuration can be modeled. Your exact installation conditions can be modeled, which leads to better accuracy. For example, with FEM, you can model multiple zones of varying soil thermal resistivity. Secondly, the heat transfer between the ground and air is modeled. The IEC standard assumes that no heat is transferred between the ground surface and the air above, known as the isothermal assumption. FEM, on the other hand, allows the convection of heat generated by buried cables, which flows into the ambient air, to be considered. For shallow buried cables, the difference in current ratings between the IEC standard and FEM is often significant. A recent study by National Grid using FEM calculations concluded the IEC method overrates cables buried at 1 meter or less. Thirdly, FEM-based cable rating calculations have accurate ratings for groups of cables. The mutual heating effect for groups of cables are more accurate when using FEM. The IEC standard approach is to calculate the mutual heating for each cable separately and combine heat rise as an algebraic sum using superposition. The difference with FEM is that the mutual heat flux influence and disturbance are considered simultaneously. The steps to an FEM cable rating calculation are as follows. Firstly, add the cable models into the study. And set the bonding arrangement. Secondly, set the native soil and ground surface conditions. Thirdly, add and position the cable circuits. Ducts. Backfills. Or troughs. The FEM user interface is fully interactive. You can select and move circuits or individual cables in custom arrangements. You can resize and position backfills, ducts, Or troughs using the mouse. You can also enter exact locations or dimensions into the corresponding controls. You can customize the names of circuits,
and colors of backfills. The software automatically detects and provides warnings if there are overlapping objects, which are not allowed. For groups of cable circuits, equal current sharing or equal loading of circuits is possible. However, if there are different cable types, then the circuits must be unequally loaded. After you press calculate, the current rating for the circuits will be calculated. Automatic meshing of the cable environment takes a few moments. Once the calculations are completed, the current ratings will be displayed. The current rating labels or names can be moved for better viewing. The elements tree provides a detailed hierarchical list of all objects and their interrelationships. The mesh plot shows the automatic meshing performed by the algorithm prior to solving for node temperatures. You can zoom and pan this plot using the mouse. The results for all the circuits are shown on the right side of the screen. You can scroll through result summaries, or alternatively, you can view the complete results. I will now set up an example calculation using the FEM module. For this example, I want to model four 132 kilovolt circuits in backfills and two 22 kilovolt circuits in ducts and a trough. Firstly, I will need to select the cable models that are going to be used for this calculation. We will be using two different models. A 1200 millimeter squared single core copper cable that's single point bonded and a 400 millimeter squared three core copper cable with solid bonding. Both of these cable models can be found in the cables database included with Cable HV. For this example, I want to use four instances of the 1200 millimeter squared cable and two instances of the 400 millimeter squared cable. You can copy a cable circuit using the copy function. There should be a total of six circuits for this example. Currently displayed on screen is a table showing the parameters of the six circuits for this example. I also want to use four backfills, two ducts, and one trough. The tables currently on screen display the backfill parameters, duct parameters, and trough parameters. Finally, we should set up the soil parameters. The table currently displayed on screen displays the parameters for the soil environment for this FEM calculation. When everything is properly set up, your calculation for the FEM module should look like how it currently does on the screen. When everything is set up, just press the calculate button to get the current ratings. From here, we can check each of the results from the calculation. A PDF or Excel report with detailed results can be easily generated. The generated report contains details about the circuits, soil parameters, ducts, backfills, and troughs. The report also includes data from the calculations, including the generated mesh plot. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Cable HV software, please visit elec.com.au.